Hey, how you doing? John here. I'm going to be doing some ground texture. Uh, it was requested by somebody uh, who made a comment on one of my videos. So I got the, I cut out these little sheets of uh, watercolor paper because I like to draw on the watercolor paper. And um, I'm going to be using, uh, to start off, I'll just be using the pencil and the eraser just to sort of uh, plan out my drawings. And I have a, a 0.5 um, Sharpie and a 0.3 Sharpie, or Stedler, sorry and a 0.1 uh, Prismacolor. So rather than just using Sharpie or just using Prismacolor or just using uh, Stedler, I, I picked a three of the different pens so you can do the same thing. Um, sometimes I use the um, Rotwing, um, but they're expensive and uh, I thought maybe uh, people might prefer it if I just did a tutorial uh, just with the basic cheap pens you can buy at the dollar store or any um, art store. So, um, so first thing I do is I'm going to start off first. I'm going to do ground for uh, like a desert or dirt, dirt road or type thing. So with a few rocks here and there. So, um, like what I'm going to do here, actually, I'm just going to tape off my sheet on the back. center it there with the camera and that way I can go ahead and draw and I'm not worrying about it shifting around because a lot of times when I'm drawing I'm having to hold it down so this way I can just sketch um, with my one hand there and I like to wear these gloves that I have um, like these socks and I just put that in there so it just stops me from smearing type thing right and keeps my hand off the drawing my uh, from the oils of my hand getting on the paper right or limits limits that as much as possible anyway so but first thing you want to do is just to establish your horizon line uh, do that in pencil and um, focal point assume it's the center and just draw some lines uh, just to represent you know everything vanishes to towards the focal point here in the center right so and then you can kind of start to just sort of lay out a few things, like maybe like a, a rock here, larger rock, and then, but as everything goes to the uh, focal point, you know, things are going to get smaller. So let's we'll assume that all these rocks are the same size. In reality, you're going to have different sizes of rocks on your in your landscape but uh, just for argument's sake we'll just make them all the same size but they'll appear smaller because they're all vanishing into the distance right all right so there's some other rocks up here that all right and then we can just sort of maybe like rough lightly line in some areas that are going to have different uh, light and dark dirt right so maybe we can say that uh, the light source is going to be over here so then your shadow is going to be on the opposite side of the uh, of these uh, of that light source obviously right so this area here will be your shadow this side and uh, right here all the way through right so if you hold your ink pen on the side here you can actually you can actually shade with it so I'm using the point 0.1 just to start off, so it's very light. So I'm going to go to a point 0.3 here and just uh, make this a little more solid. Uh, to stand out from the uh, the ground area here. And you can do the same thing. You hold your pen sideways, you can, you can kind of use it to, to shade out areas on your, on your drawing, right? So. And you can start to show your shadows as well too, okay? So 
So every time you're going to draw a shadow, just occasionally look back at your sun and just with your, if you draw on these little pencil arrows, just to remember that, you know, obviously your shadow here is going to be on this side, right? And here, these rocks, the shadow is going to extend out. And then you can draw your horizon line a little more solid here. You can make it even curve a bit just to make it a little more interesting, right? And then with your point three, holding it sideways, you can kind of just start to sort of using different pressures just to sort of show some different uh, landscape textures off in the distance, right? I'm sorry, I'm using the point one here in the, in the foreground. And a little bit in the background too, obviously too, right? Unless you want, you can just draw in a few little small pebbles here and there. Just to add a sense of depth. And just make your, your pebbles in the foreground a lot larger, eh? And make, obviously make them smaller as you go to your horizon line. Now with the point 0.5, I'm going to use the Sharpie here. I'm just going to darken up a few more areas here. I like the Sharpie because it's, I find the Sharpie really good for uh, just something about it. Like, I mean, you can draw your lines, you know, nice and solid, um, but I mean, you hold it on the side like that and you just use the weight of it. I mean, it's, you can really, you can do really uh, some nice shading, almost like a pencil almost. Now this is completely optional. I didn't really mention this in the video, but if you want, you can go with an ink wash or watercolor wash and you can just go back and, uh, and just brush in a few little areas here. It's up to you. I guess. 